welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you came back. If you haven't yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button. So today I'm coming to you with my long-awaited natural hair products video. I've gotten so many questions about what products I'm currently using in my natural hair. So I finally filmed it for you guys. So here we go. We're going to go into the products I'm using. So let's get started. Natural hair routine has switched up a little bit since my very first video. I've switched out quite a few products. I've also tried some new products, but also I don't change my routine all that often because once I like something, I kind of just stick to it because I don't like to try to rearrange my whole routine because I finally got it down packed and I can do wash my hair and condition my hair pretty quickly, so I'm not trying to ruin that. But these are the products I'm using. So the first thing I do on wash day before I even get in the shower is that I detangle my hair. I section my hair into four sections. And then I pretty much just spray water using this, my handy dandy water bottle. Everyone has one of these. So I pretty much just take my water bottle, spray my hair, and then I use this conditioner, which is, it's the Suave Almond and Shea Butter Conditioner. And I just spray water and I put this conditioner in my hair and it pretty much just detangles itself. I use my shower comb and it's great. And it's also, it's also very inexpensive. You can get this at Target or Walmart or CVS, pretty much anywhere. And it's like, I think at Walmart and Target, it's like two, 260 something. It's very cheap. And this is the big bottle. The small bottle is like $1.50 or something. So inexpensive and you get a lot. So you can't go wrong there. And then pretty much after detangling, depending on how dirty my hair is, is when I decide either I'm going to shampoo or I'm going to co-wash. So... For shampoo right now, I'm using the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil System, and I really like this shampoo. It gets my scalp super clean, and I don't have any complaints about it. My hair doesn't feel stripped or super dry when I use it, so that's always a benefit. As far as co-washing goes, when I'm not really trying to shampoo my hair, I pretty much shampoo my hair every three weeks to a month depending on what products I'm using and what I've been doing to my hair so in between washes I use the as I am coconut co-wash and I've been using this since about June because at the end of May I went to the natural hair expo in Denver um, and I had one I had met someone and she had recommended that to use in between washes if you're not really big on shampoo because for curly hair a lot of shampoos strip your hair so I went out and got it and I've been using it since about June and I love it and it's probably going to stay a staple product for me for a long time as far as deep conditioner and now we know as naturals and girls with curly hair how important deep conditioning is so I have two that I've been using one of the ones I've been using for Almost my whole natural hair journey is the Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Deep Treatment Mask. And you can get this at Walmart. I think you can get it at Target too, but I tend to find it more at Walmart. I don't know why, but they usually have it. Um, it's really inexpensive. It's about $6. And a little goes a long way. It makes my hair so soft and it smells so good. That's probably one of the best smelling products that I'm going to show you guys today. It smells delicious. The second treatment mask I used is also from Shea Moisture Black Jamaican Castor Oil line. It's the Strengthen, Grow, and Restore Treatment Mask. And I use this pretty much every other wash in between my Cantu one when I feel like I need a little bit boost of protein. But if I feel like I need a deep protein, I go get the little packets from Walmart, the Dr. Palmer's Deep Conditioning protein treatment it's like less than two dollars they have it I don't have it with me right now but that's pretty much what I use if I feel like my hair is feeling a little weak and then now we get into leave-in conditioner um I was using the kinky curly leave-in conditioner and I still love it but right now my staple is the black Jamaican castor oil leave-in conditioner from Shea Moisture this leaves my hair feeling so moisturized and so soft and this it smells so good. I've been using it for probably about two months now and I use the lock method. So I pretty much spray my hair with water, put oil in it, and then top it off with that leave-in conditioner and my hair stays moisturized all week. I have no complaints. I use it for everything. I, I just love it and it's worth the price. I think it's like $10.99. So not super cheap, but not super expensive either. 
in one of my favorite products I'm going to show you guys. Now I know every natural and most people swear by coconut oil, but I'm going to tell you that my favorite oil is not coconut oil. Don't come for me. It's not my favorite. I feel like my favorite is better and I feel like it's the greatest of all time. So my favorite is avocado oil. I love avocado oil. It just locks in the moisture. It does almost the same benefits as coconut oil. So if you're looking for something else besides coconut oil, I would highly, highly recommend avocado oil. I get the Now Solutions 100% pure and you can pretty much get this um, at like a Sprouts or Whole Foods or Trader Joe's. Pretty much anyway they have like natural organic stuff. I honestly got mine off of Amazon because I didn't have enough time to go to the local store so I just ordered all on Amazon and they just deliver it and that works and I've had this bottle for quite a while and I think that was about eight or nine dollars something like that and also what I forgot to show you guys is my scalp massager that I ordered from Vanity Planet I got it for ten dollars because I had a coupon code but they're normally twenty dollars so they're not too expensive Pretty much it's just to um, stimulate blood flow to help your hair grow and also to get like dandruff and dead cells, <laughs> dead, hold on you guys, dead skin cells off your scalp. So pretty much you just press this button here and then it vibrates, if you guys can hear that. And then pretty much you just hold it like this and then you scrub your scalp in the shower and honestly, I'm in love with this thing and like even if you don't to find it beneficial it's it, it feels good so why not while you're washing your hair I've noticed a difference in my scalp since I've been using it I've only been using it for about three weeks or so but I love it I'm probably going to keep using it no matter what hair products I'm using so the last product I have is what I use for my edges when I'm trying to lay them down because you know we try to have those edges laid so I use curls passion fruit control paste and I get mine from Target. It's like $8. So not bad. It's not expensive. But I mean, it is a tiny jar, but a little goes a long way. I have no complaints. I pretty much just use my little toothbrush, put this on my edges, and then I tie down my scar for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then I'm out the door and then my edges pretty much stay down all day. So and considering my edges don't like to listen, it listens to this. So I would highly recommend it. But those are all the products I'm currently using in my hair. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. Ask me the question so if I wasn't clear about something, I can clarify. Or if you would like more information about, you know, where to get the products or whether you want to try them or not. And thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Why I got you on my heart.